so today I'm going to be doing the get to know me tag slash 20 questions about me um, as this is like my first YouTube video and I think it's like a really good one to get started with just so you get to know a little bit more about me and everything and what I'm going to be doing so the first question I have is what is your full name so my full name is Amber Jane A Park but I kind of changed it because my middle name is spelled J-A-Y-N-E but I just took the N-E off and just changed it to J because like I kind of prefer that and I think it's just a bit more cool so the next question is what is your favourite social media? So my favourite social media is Instagram, I think. Like, I spend most of my time on Instagram. I really like going through everyone's, like, photos and stuff and seeing what my friends are up to. Like, you see all your friends' stories and stuff on Instagram. Like, I don't know, I just prefer it. But then, like, my second one would definitely be Snapchat because I spend so much time on Snapchat. That's, like, how me and my friends, like, always message each other through Snapchat and everything because it's just so much easier and you can send, like, video messages and stuff, like so much easier to do that obviously so the third question is are you scared of heights well <laughs> no <laughs> are you more likely to avoid conflict or face it head on well um i don't know like, i would say that i don't like conflict but i'm not really one of these people who can just like keep their mouth shut like no nah, that's not me <laughs> Question five is, what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? Do you know what? I don't even know. I might have to just ring my mum and we'll find out. Mum, if I was a boy, what would you have called me? What was it? I can't remember. <laughs> you can't remember? I can't remember what it was that I liked. <laughs> I don't know. Not at all? Bring me back if you remember, okay? Okay. All right, bye. <laughs> right, question number six is, are you high maintenance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the next one is, am I a good cook? Right. Depends, like, how far we're going with this because, like, I can cook, like, pasta. I'm solid at cooking pasta. I can do that. I can't... <sighs> I can't, I'm really prone to like burning myself, I'm really accident prone, I'll probably like break something, I'm a bit of a liability, so not really, I can do like maybe a fry up or something, I can do toast, I can do soup noodles, I can do the basics, but like who needs more than that to be honest, like exactly. <laughs> the next question is, what is the weirdest thing you've seen in your life? Right. Well, I've seen a lot of weird things, like normally from my friends and stuff. But um, I once I went to Egypt like a couple of years ago, and I actually got to see Tutankhamun, like the real, like the real Tutankhamun, like him just lying there in his coffin, like, and he had like little hairs on his toes and everything. Like that was pretty weird. Like, yeah, that's pretty weird. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Question number nine is: Who is the first person you tell when something exciting happens? Right, a hundred percent. It's got to be Shannon. Shannon's my best friend. And literally, we ring each other every, like, ten minutes with something, like, really exciting, like, something bad, like, boy drums, everything. Like, literally, we ring each other every every ten minutes, like, so it's 100% going to be her. Next question. Do you remember all of your dreams? I literally, right, this is the weirdest thing, I remember dreams from when i was like younger and they come back like it's really weird so i'll be having a dream and i'll be like i'll wake up and i remember it so clearly and i think i've been having the same dream since i was young since i was like five years old like what does that mean like and there's so many dreams which are like that and i just don't understand it like that's that kind of stuff like freaks me out like <laughs> do you have any pets yes i do i have a little puppy called marnie <laughs> this is my little puppy Marnie she's a little pug she's a little black pug and she's literally the cutest thing ever aren't you aren't you you're so cute let's see she's just so cute look <laughs> I had to go put her back downstairs because she literally just decided to like eat everything in my room and like attack everything so she's downstairs the next question is how old do you think you'll be when you get married like this is a weird one, but I literally have always had the number 26 in my head. Like, I don't know if that's when I'm going to have kids or when I'm going to get married, but I just know I'm going to be 26. Question number 13. Have you ever broken a bone? Have I ever broken a bone? 
yes i've broken loads of bones i have broken my right ankle about eight or nine times and then my left ankle i've broken three times I've broken my toes fingers this elbow i've like sprained my wrist before i've broken like a knuckle this knuckle i broke that um like the bone on your foot which is like believe you like your toe knuckle is that even a thing i've broken that so basically i've broken quite a lot of bones what is something that you wish you could do but you can't i would say the thing that i really wish i was like really good at was dancing like i can dance like i have got rhythm but it's just not one of my strongest things and i really want to be one of those girls who can just like be sick at dancing because like it looks really cool and i just think that'd be like a really sick thing to have and be able to do question number 15 is what car do you drive so i drive i say drive i haven't passed my test yet but i've got a volkswagen polo it's just a little red one it's quite cute quite cool um yeah it's right does the job gets me from a to b you know do you love your job right my job so basically <laughs> I didn't love my job so I quit like last week and now I'm jobless so if anyone knows of any jobs please hit me up. Question number 18 is what is something that was scared what is something that scares you and you would never try? Probably I would say like raw fish or like I just don't like fish at all. I don't eat fish but raw fish like scares me like a little like squid or something. Nah that scares me like does that count? Surely that counts, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, rate your driving skills. My own driving skills, I would probably, I don't know, like, the thing is, some days I'm like, okay, and then some days I've literally nearly killed my whole family or, like, whoever I'm driving with. I have no sense of direction, I have no spatial awareness, and I just feel like driving's not for me, but, like, I've, you've just got to do it. It's something I've got to do, you know? So, Shannon, got a quick question for you. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how safe did you feel with me in the car when I was driving? <laughs> when you were driving? Yeah, how safe did you feel with me in the car? 10 being really safe and 1 being I thought I was going to die. Yeah. Like a 3. Like a 3, All right. Brilliant, cheers. And the last question in my 20 questions is, if you, be if you could become a millionaire overnight, what would you do with money? Right. I think 100%. I would buy me and my best friend a really nice car each and then we'll go out in a nice car like drive to Harrods or something and we would go and we would buy like a nice handbag and get some food get some nice food and handbag and cars and buy puppies lots and lots of puppies thank you for watching this video I'll see you in the next one yeah, don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos just like this